What is re-memory? How can exploring collective memory help people heal from traumatic history and offer hope? Darrell Brooks is the executive director at the Center for Black Equity Baltimore. He tells us more. In Beloved, the late Toni Morrison wrote of a concept called rememory. It is the idea that beyond our own individual experiences, there exists a larger collective narrative. Rememory would open up a new space to grapple with the legacies of slavery and institutionalized racism and the fact that the past is always present. Rememory would allow us time to rework and reimagine what is individually and collectively possible. We can use it when we're facing the truth of the Black experience nationally and locally. For example, in Baltimore, enslaved Black people were held in slave pens at the Inner Harbor and along Pratt Street, and free Blacks were taken and sold into the Deep South. The concept of rememory helps illustrate the enduring and systemic inequalities that shape the Black experience, and for us, particularly, the Black LGBT experience. It is within this realm of complex, lingering systems of oppression that I remember the lives of Black LGBT people who have been murdered or died as a result of deep-seated inequalities. I remember Bailey, and I remember London, and Javon. All of these young people that have been taken from us or left us too soon because of isolation, stigmatization, and marginalization. It is to them and for them that the Center for Black Equity Baltimore exists and works to ensure that Black LGBT people have a safe, loving, and authentic place to just be. It is also because of Audre Lorde, Bayard Rustin, Marsha P. Johnson, and so many other Black LGBT people who laid the groundwork for us to be here in the face of great systemic adversity. The Center for Black Equity Baltimore dates back to the very beginning of the HIV AIDS epidemic during the late 70s, early 80s. Before there were antiretroviral medications, pre-exposure prophylaxis, or any biomedical interventions, the Baltimore City Black gay community suffered because of racism and homophobia that exacerbated HIV risk. Black gay men in the city were dying, medical professionals were untrained, and in some cases unwilling to serve and care for Black gay men. Out of a need to find and build community when so many people were rapidly vanishing, several Black gay men like Carlton Smith, Kevin Clemens, and Dana Owens came together. They created a support group to care for each other, to collectively grieve, to process profound loss in the community, and to face their own mortality. It was this unwavering belief that within the community, that within our own legacy as Black people, we would find a way to survive and persevere in the face of adversity. They believed that through the act of caring for one another, we could rediscover and affirm our own humanity. While the organization has changed its form and its structure at times, our mission to educate, elevate, and empower has gone unchanged. The foundational principle that holds this organization together is that we can love ourselves and heal ourselves. Engaging our collective memories and shared history shows how to not only carry the pain of racism and homophobia, but also the possibility for new ways of knowing, being, and living authentically ourselves. Our programming is all grounded in Black LGBT history, as well as our oral traditions. It centers on asking how we grapple individually and systematically with inequality that persists even until this day. Our major program is Baltimore Black Pride, which includes a healing brunch. At this event, we explore different healing strategies and explore the interconnections of our race, gender, and sexual identity. Here, we create an environment where Black LGBT people can make a commitment to never walk away from themselves, even the pieces that resulted from years of social exploitation, victimization, and marginalization. We learn from our history, and our elders, and our ancestors. Our healing is about remembering, returning, and creating spaces where we can be filled up again with self-affirmation and self-love instead of being despised, castigated, or shunned. We work with our community to take that which was done to us, use it, and to remake ourselves even more powerful than before. Even when we are most afraid, we encourage everyone to remember to tell the truth so that we can heal and be transformed. The Center for Black Equity Baltimore hosts Baltimore Black Pride October 25th through October 27th. Learn more at centerforblackequity.org slash Baltimore. Maryland Humanities is a statewide nonprofit that creates and supports educational experiences in the humanities 
that inspire all Marylanders to embrace lifelong learning, exchange ideas openly, and enrich their communities. Humanities Connection is produced by Maryland Humanities for WIPR. For Maryland Humanities, I'm Phoebe Stein. 